What's up guys, it's Evan from riversedgecutlery.com. Today we got Levon from Knife Nuts Podcast. Not Knife Steel Nerds. No, Sorry. that's right. Jesus. Shout out to Knife Steel Nerds, this is going great. Yeah, <laughs> we've done, a, there's been a lot of videos going I love around. Knife Steel Nerds though. Yeah, great they're great. Stuff. Great references. Absolutely. Shout out to Laren Thomas. Um, <laughs> anyway, today we're just gonna do a little breakdown video of uh, Blade Show 2021, what happened. Highs, lows, anything in between. It was hot out here. It was, it was muggy. Honestly, the weather held out. Like, I'm used to coming to Atlanta and not being able to set foot outside yeah. for more than a few seconds. I, I did some walking out there. It was fine. There was a breeze. It was good. They do kind of keep it like a casino in here. Like, you don't know what time of day it is, if it's pouring rain. I'm okay with that. Snowing. Yeah, I'm, okay I'm cool that. with it. I yeah. don't want to know. The, when the they come over the properly, loudspeakers. It's properly air conditioned in here, too. It is. Yeah. It is. I was cold the entire weekend. Um, I was just right. <laughs> when we right. walked outside, the cold camera fogged up. It was great for vlogging, so it's been a good weekend. And there's, there's also knives in there. Was there? Yeah, a couple. Oh, I didn't even yeah. see them, but um, I might have to check it out before we leave. That's right. So what was your high point of the show so far? So, I don't know. For me, the idea of coming out to a show was just an awesome thing. After every, what everyone's been through for the past couple years, and one of the highlights for me uh, I'll get to specific, a specific knife in a minute, but talking to new makers who I met two years ago at yeah. Blade Show and feeling great that they never stopped, you know? Yeah. So they were making knives throughout the next, uh, the past two years, and I come and see where, how they've progressed. Yes. You know? Seeing these new guys come out with new stuff that looks so much better than it even did two years ago. Hell it's yeah. almost like you went through a time warp. Yeah. You know? So that, that was a great feeling. The other thing for me um, was I had one knife that I wanted to get while I was here, aside from you know uh, certain exclusives that are <laughs> dropping at a certain dealer, you know? Yeah, whatever. But uh, for me, uh, if you guys are familiar with Grant and Gavin Hawk, specifically Gavin Hawk of Hawk yeah, yeah. Knives, uh, and their deadlock model, the, the infamous OTF with no blade play, they released the third variation, the f third version of this knife called the Model C. And I was able to get one of the prototypes uh, at 10 o'clock. I had to line up, you know, I was in here with, at the Sharp by Design booth uh, working with Brian and everything. It's, that's the other weird thing. I don't have my cohorts here with me. Yeah. So usually I've got a little bit of a posse, but yeah, back was, up. I've just been running solo this whole time, which is, is fine, but I do miss Jake and Dave. And Brian hightailed it out of here. He's already uh, gone? He's already gone. He I don't blame me. him. He left me. I don't blame him either. <laughs> But, Sunday's papers down. That's but. true, uh, but uh, I was able to get one of those knives, the uh, the Deadlock Model C. That's huge. amazing. It's actually in my pocket. Do you want to see it? Absolutely, I would yeah. love to see it. Here you go. It comes in a little bag. You know, when a knife comes in a little like velour bag, yep, that's when you know it's quality. Yeah, you that's understand? the only mark of quality. Behold, you can that talk about it while you look at it. Iconic. It oh. is honestly the best OTF on the market. That Far is enough. really really nice. Carbon fiber inlay, that is amazing. And that's 7075 aluminum. So, you know, that's, that's a material that doesn't get talked about enough. Uh, it's as strong as, as steel and has the same spring uh, retention as titanium. So, really, really good stuff uh, for everything. This is kind of like a no holds barred yes. OTF. As good as an OTF can get, in my opinion. That is amazing. But that's my favorite pickup from this, yes. from this whole thing. I love seeing my friends at you know, River's Edge Cutlery. You guys literally brought the whole store with you. Yeah, we did. It was, uh, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. But Amazing. Yep. You would, there was a giant avocado running around. Somebody came up to me and was saying, holy guacamole. I was like, this is a knife show, dude. What are you yeah. doing? It like actually it turned sense. out to be really good. So the guys you were talking about um, seeing a couple years ago and then watching them evolve, mm -hmm. grow as knife makers, who are you referencing there? Uh, one, the one that stands out in my mind is uh, American Blade Works. Oh yeah. Uh, Michael Martin. Uh, you know, that is someone that is passionate about, about knives and you know, sure they may do it to, for some income, but you can tell it's from a love of, of, of the industry, you yes. know? And one of the things that he does is like a a constant quality uh, improvement on his mm. Model 1 knife. And this is, we're currently in the sixth generation okay. of those. And it's night and day after seeing the first one, which was already a good knife, especially for what he charged for it. Yeah. And seeing where he is with this sixth gen, it is fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah. So you guys got to check those out too? Yeah, absolutely. I, um, Mike actually bought one mm -hmm. a little while ago, which is a testament because he's never buying himself anything. Right. So. 
I know that's going to be something that's kind of up and coming. They're an awesome brand. Tactical Everyday Dad, Anthony Jackson over there. He picks one up. I got to see that one. It was kind of a JG10 yeah. satin, or a, not a satin. Like I personally got the blade. marble carbon fiber, but yeah, I know. But, but you, there was the micarta, the yeah. JG. All, you couldn't go wrong. Like, yes. they, they all look great. Understated design. Absolutely. Yes. Very good working knife. Yes. Everything you need, nothing you don't. Correct. Yeah. So those were really cool. Um, how about some low points? Low points to the show. You know, I feel like it was a blessing and a curse. I mean, the turnout, for obvious reasons, is not as high as it yep. usually is. And it's a little disheartening to see, but the fact that it's as big as it is yeah. still gave me hope for what's happening, you know? And the other thing, I'm, I, I don't like to talk too much about the low point, so another high point is you see the growth in the industry and the sure. type of people that are coming in and enjoying knives. It, it's become something that really is all-inclusive and, and everybody can enjoy. Yep. So I, that's something that I've, I've noticed quite a bit. I noticed a lot of multi-generational groups walking 100%. around. Yep. Parents, grandparents, young yep. children. Yeah. The kids that know, know about knives already, yep. not just like knives. They know steels. They know yeah. locking mechanisms. I was like, oh my gosh. I was talking about very, this very cool. with another company, HEA Designs. Um, you know, people who come at it and, and maybe have a different approach to the knife world where uh, you know, it's not as traditional, yep. you know, which is still here. There's tons of that. Oh yeah, absolutely. But stuff that appeals to a younger audience, something that, or is marketed differently. Yes. And hey, look, these are knives and they're not necessarily scary weapons, but yep. there's something that you can enjoy as pieces of art, functional functional art. You yes, know? absolutely. Yeah. Did you get to talk, into you and t talk to any of the big makers that you were uh, kind of <laughs> eyeing? Oh God. It's funny. It's fi we didn't rehearse this at all. But yes. That's a very good question because um, I I don't get starstruck when <laughs> I when I, I you guys know me I I love meeting knife makers and it's it's usually no big thing I'm excited to talk to them and all yep. this stuff but I got to meet Sal Glesser for the first time wow so so if you guys follow the podcast you know my co-host and I we we rib on each other all the time and Brian uh, as as a rib for this he made my name tag say Sal Lamy, <laughs> like I was a deli meat. But either way, so that's what my name tag said. Not realizing that, I go up to the Spider Co. booth and I, I know the guys at the, at the, at the table, they're, they're all, you know, everyone's always so cordial. Yep. And then I see Sal and I go over and introduce myself and he just, you know, he's an older guy at this point, he just points at my, my name tag and he's like, I'm Sal. And we're both, so he thinks we both share a name and it starts going on to this whole oh, thing. No. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is terrible. I have to explain to him that I'm not Salami, I'm, I'm Levon, it's, it's nice to meet you, but you know, it was, it was an awkward moment that turned into a, a very memorable one. Did he know? still think it was funny? Oh my God, absolutely, absolutely. He <laughs> started telling me stories about nicknames that he used to come up for, with different, for his friends and stuff like that. You can't, you can't, you can't get that anywhere, folks. That was, that was Only at Blade Show. That was a Blade Show story. magic yeah, right there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So did you see that when we were running around with the avocado the first time, mm -hmm. Eric Lesser came out, we got him to say, holy guacamole, oh he's got God. a token now. Yes. So. That's, oh, that's great. I yeah. know he's already got an RAC Shaman, but now at least he has the token to go along that's with it. That's awesome. Yeah, they're great people. They are. Yes. They are. Yeah, I had, a, I had the opportunity to talk to um, Dave from ProTech. Mm -hmm. Another Incredible good Incredible guy. Absolutely. Super nice. Great showing. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You see that Runt 5? Yes. Amazing little knife. Yes, and all of the runs that they released here had that Mikey Eerie hand grind, mm. hand polish. So that's absolutely incredible. Gorgeous. But it was just really nice for them to give us the time of the day. Absolutely. Because they're obviously busy guys. Got um, a lot going on, for sure. Oh my gosh. Andrew Demko, same way. Great stuff. That's a, that's a, that's definitely a highlight from this show. Absolutely. One hundred percent. Absolutely. That, that uh, AD twenty point five. Yep. For the money, I don't know if there's anything that really competes with it right now. No, and it's it's really nice to have something else in the store. So if someone's looking for something around 150 bucks. Yeah. A pair of three lightweight bug and it's out, unique. And you now know, we have mm -hmm. 20.5s to handle, yep. which is really cool. I like both blade shapes too. Normally, there's too. always one that I, uh, you know, gravitate, gravitate towards. Yep. But really, really great offering. Well, you can have both. For the same price as a lot of other knives that are uh, not I, as I gotta tell you, I bought both. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as you should. As you should. Everyone should try one of those. Yes. It is paradigm shifting for a knife guy. Definitely. Yes. And especially now, like we talked about, a lot of new newcomers coming in. Yep. Fantastic way to start out. He's so interesting because a lot of the knife designers that we talk to, they're kind of doing form factor design mm -hmm. uh, using frame locks or um, liner locks. He's out there 
engineering sure. locking mechanisms, mm -hmm. which is so far beyond my pay grade Absolutely. that I just want to listen to that man talk all day long. Yeah, and uh, there's a theme for me. It's those kind of um, engineering minds yeah. that I love to talk to here. Absolutely. I, you know, I, I mentioned Grant and Gavin Hawk early in the video. That, a great uh, example. Andrew and John Demko are definitely part of that for me. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Joseph Vero kind of in the same Absolutely. similar vein. He's out there <laughs> doing stuff that tolerances are blowing my mind. Man, he's a celebrity now. He is, I, man. I, Joseph is a wonderful person. And yep. He deserves all the success that he gets. So I'm very happy for him. Him walking up when I was waiting by the booth to do yep. the interview. Him walking up, you, I, people were turning like it, he was Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he kind of looks. I like mean, him. handsome man. Yeah, he's very so, handsome. Yeah, so, so it's yes. like who blame who can blame him? But so many highlights of this show so Absolutely. far. Absolutely, I've really enjoyed myself. And like I said, just the fact that I get to come out, hang out with you guys, yep. and see everybody, it's it's been wonderful. You know, I'm I'm completely haggard. Oh, I am too. And ready to just when I get home, which will be at like 11 o'clock tonight. Yeah, us too. We're gonna fall. We're just yeah. gonna fall down. Yeah, yeah. I think I probably got ten hours of sleep. Total. In the last yeah, I would days. say it's about accurate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's been rough. Anything you missed out on that you were really gunning for? Uh. So I'm a huge Richard Rogers fan. Okay. And I, he had some uh, uh, some pieces that I was absolutely enamored with. I barely even got to see him. So. Um, that's definitely one that I really want to add to my collection at some point. Yeah. Something by Richard Rogers. Yep. He has some great production collabs that you guys carry. Uh, really great stuff. I'm trying to think what else that I would. Uh, you know, I spent most of my time at the Sharp Eye Design booth, and I got to yes. meet a lot of fans of the podcast. So yes. shout out to everybody who came up and said hi. Yep. Um, I had a couple of the Knife Nuts Edition micros left from left over from the run, and it was great to get them into into the you know the final hands that they will be yes, with. Yes, absolutely. So you just, know someone just, who's already a fan of Sharp by Design, already a fan of yours. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's a big thing for me. I like to see that the stuff that we produce goes to someone that really, really appreciates exactly. it. Exactly. And that's why I do that stuff, but it's yeah. good. It's yeah. all for good, yeah. not for evil. You don't want things to fall into the wrong hands. That's, yeah, you know. But yeah, I think I know the guy you were talking about because yeah. he was wearing a knife. knife There's knife definitely, there was a couple shirt. of guys, but yes, the, yes. the purple one. I saw that. Yes, yes, that's yes, who yes, I'm talking yes, about. Absolutely. Great guy. Hey, you know who you are. Yes. Shout out to you. You're awesome. You came by the Boots Boutique Times. I, I, really know, I, I know his, his Instagram name. I can't, I'm trying to, right now I can't even think. Well, but, thank you so much. Oh, really appreciate you taking really. the time. Thank you guys. Seriously. Absolutely, man. Always a pleasure. Did you get, uh, did you get something today? I did. Uh, do uh, you have it on you? It's actually over there, but okay. um, I, I did get my, uh, my avocado uh, shaman. Is that what Fantastic. I'm supposed to talk about? Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're I got, not promoting I, it. No, I just, I, I just, I just didn't know if I, we were about. releasing. I didn't know if it was released yet or whatever. We can talk about it. But you can cut that part out, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Snip this whole thing out. But I got my 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 avocado shaman. I love it. It's amazing. <laughs> yes. Cut this whole thing cut, out. Cut that whole thing out. So yeah. thank you so much. Are you kidding pleasure me? Pleasure meeting you. Seriously. We're gonna pleasure. we're gonna have to be on the show sometime. Yeah. Soon. We'll, we'll, I'm starting to do a lot more stuff. You guys are always welcome. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so we'll much. We'll talk to you guys in the next video.